Hello everyone. So I am at work. I am on the road. Well, I'm not driving. I just got to my next meeting uh, this afternoon. We're going to be talking about LGBTQ issues for young folks who have mental health concerns. So that's pretty cool. It kind of intersects with all my interests. And uh, it's a bunch of people I've never met before. And I'm out in the middle of, I wouldn't call it exactly bumblefuck, but maybe bumfuck Egypt. So we'll see how this all shakes down. I'm thinking as I'm coming here about old issues that came up when I was getting mental health services, because I came out like in the year 2000, and that was pre-Lady Gaga and before Born This Way and all that stuff, and I grew up in a rural, semi-rural corner of the state that I live in, in Pennsylvania, so it's always about 30 years behind anyway. They just practically got gunpowder, so a little behind the times. And when I was receiving therapy and treatment over the years, the gay thing come up would come up a lot, and it kind of came up for stupid reasons. You know, I had a, a couple therapists who would try to weave it in to my treatment plan. Now, for all the issues I've had, and most of you are aware, I've had a few, um, the gay thing was something I never had really too much identity issues with once I had come out. So once I had been, you know, I was 18 when I came out, and I had a good supportive group of friends, and my family was pretty okay with it over a shorter period of time. Within a year, I think I felt pretty comfortable there. So when it came to dealing with my mental health concerns, I wasn't having much of an identity crisis. But apparently a few of my therapists thought, how could I not be? And they would want to spend a whole session talking about it. You know, for $120 an hour, I don't want to talk about a non-issue. Um, so I would, you know, they'd be like, well, let's talk about your sexual orientation today. How about no? How about we talk about how my life is being shredded by untreated bipolar disorder? How about that? How about we talk about something a little more significant and damaging to my life than the fact that I like guys? Hmm. Just a thought. So I remember also, this is more Mark's anecdote than mine, but I remember he was in a halfway house that I was also in, not at the same time, and we had the same therapist who was eventually fired for forging charts. So... And he had said to Mark, out of the clear blue, something also that had nothing to do with his treatment or, or, or addiction, that he thought Mark was only 25% gay and 75% straight. What exactly that had to do with heroin addiction, I'm not sure. Uh, and have you met Mark? Okay. So, love him dearly. Love him dearly. I wouldn't want him to change, but let's, let's not go overboard with 75% straight. Okay. Um... So we'll see. This should be an interesting discussion. It's a necessary topic to discuss. It's totally unaddressed in this area. This is nothing new other places, but it's new here. So trying not to um, point that out, you know, and trying to just recognize this is a starting point for a region like this. This is a jumping off point. Uh, and we'll see. We'll see how it goes. I'm a little bit early like I said, I don't really want to go into a school and just walk around. I'm a creepy middle-aged male wandering around an elementary school. That's unsavory. And given the times we're in, you know, you just shouldn't be walking around schools, period, if you're an unidentified person. So I'm going to go in, try to find a secretary, get a hello badge, my name is whoever, and uh, find out where the meeting is supposed to be. So... Thank you for watching. If this goes well or if anything's productive, I'll check in with you guys tomorrow and let you know how it went. Uh, please subscribe. Give us the thumbs up. Uh, follow us on Instagram at Smokey Steve and Mark. And um, we'll catch up with y'all soon. Bye.